Anyway, we ended up, these seven guys from South East London, painters, decorators, postmen, plumbers, got signed to Walt Disney's record label, which was called Hollywood Records. So we literally went from that, like, oh, no painting stuff and putting <laughs> toilets in, to like, oh, and we got £100,000, January 1990, given it, Hollywood Records. We've done, we made it, <laughs> this is it. We've gone clear, man. Like, you know, it's, you, know you know that thing, he's only gone bloody done it. Like, 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 be careful what you wish for. Because we knew nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. No business. No, like, we've got, we've got to grant. Like, you're like, bank it, store it away, use it for your future. Buy some instrumentation. No, there's some loads of pies. Let's go to Reading and... Get in a living studio, which is about a grand a day, <laughs> and write the album there. Like, no, write it here in Deptford, like, where it costs. No, no, we're going to go there. <laughs> then we're going to invite all our friends up every weekend, and we're going to have these mad parties. October, January, 100 grand. October, <laughs> minus 30 grand. <laughs> no cars, no houses. Like, I bought a couple of drums, my man bought a guitar, like, we had some new stuff. Done! Gone! Finished! Minus! In ten months! Savage London Geezers! We're running underground! Spend it! Like, you know, no idea! Nothing! And we had managers. Yeah. Managers like this. Yeah. Should we have a party? Yeah, have a party! Sounds great! Can I be free? Yeah! That's where we were at. It was the most valuable lesson yeah. I've ever had in, within the music business, within my musical career. Incredible, hardcore, on my knees <laughs> lesson, you know? That goes for every single one of us right here. The music business is hardcore. It's music. Business. It's music! Oh, we're gonna have such a good time, and there was 500 people at my gig, man, and everyone said I was really great. Business. <laughs> How much you get? What can I cut off? What can I scam off? Who's managing you? Who's publishing you? Where are you gonna go for that? Who's, who's plugging you? Business. <laughs> you, need to have, you need to be savvy. You need to know what's going on. You need to, you need to be creative. Be savvy. If you get any money, any substantial amount of money, just remember you have to pay tax on it. Yeah. <laughs> so before, what I have my advice now, is before, as soon as you get a lump of money, before you buy a plectrum, <laughs> take out the tax, ching, and put it somewhere and leave it. It's not there, it doesn't exist. So when that bill comes, oh yeah, ching. And I'm doing this thing over here. I've got this. This is what I'm working with. And just keep doing that. I'm 25 grand, 2 grand, 5 grand, 100 grand, 30, 300 grand. I've sold 50 million. Whatever. Just remember. Because this is when you, when you read about all these people. But how are they bankrupt? How are they? They did that because they went, woo! And forgot that people are going, oh yeah, he's going to get his letter soon. And that's how it happens. Didn't have their stuff locked down. Or their management didn't have their stuff locked down and you're trusting people who should and they're, they're scamming. But it, it, that isn't usually the case. Usually there's, people are professional, they're looking out for you. If you get, someone said to me a long, long, long time ago, you'll never be a great artist without a great manager. And at that time I was looking at our manager going, yeah, great. <laughs> and, and so it came to pass, you know what I mean? Like a long time ago, I was like, oh, shit. You know? And I've never forgot that. And not necessarily a great manager, but a great team. And a team, even if it's you and one other. I'm good at this, or I'm, better, I'm a bit better at this, or even I like doing this bit. And I like doing this bit. Great. Recovered. It's a team. If you need some representative, like Joe just said, do what I would say. I don't know if people are going to, you know, differ on, but I would say always, always, always do absolutely everything you can as much as yourself before you start bringing in 
other sources, management, PRS, well, no, sorry, not PRS, management, uh, and possibly publishing, promoting, promoting. Prom yeah, you know, do as much as you possibly can, because already you're kind of minusing, you know, you're bringing in bits you have to pay to others when you haven't, have I really maximised my own talents? Who's going to take care of, of, of me the best? Me! Who really knows where I want to go and do and say and be? Me! A lot of other people are like, listen, I've got this gig, you know, I've got this gig, might not be too, but if you do it, and it's like, but he's got his own reasons why he wants you, she wants you to do that. You know, so don't be scared. Don't be, yeah, don't be scared to, to question. In fact, in fact, let me say that another way. Always question. Always question. Or, well, okay, I hear you. I'm not really feeling that. Can you explain to me why it's good for me to do that? Because otherwise you'll just end up, you know, the headless chicken, the sheep, you're just following and people have their own agendas for why they want you to do things.